So this absolutely adorable creature is called Sally, also known as a sugar glider. And she's from Australia. And the reason we've got Sally here is because she's a fantastic glider. They can jump from tree to tree and glide up to 50 meters, incredibly. That's mainly thanks to this incredibly loose membrane sort of between her legs there. And she's actually a kind of marsupial. It's related to possums, koalas, and kangaroos. Come on in, you. So the gliding behaviour we're trying to capture is incredibly difficult at the best of times okay. and we're about as far from an Australian forest as you could wish to be. So what do we have on our side? So we've got three sugar gliders rather than just the one. Right. Uh, so hopefully one of them will want to jump and we've got the fabulous Mark Amy who's an expert animal handler. Hey. That's awesome, because he was gliding when he had his hands sort of out like this, his hands, his feet. And then when he came into land, he brought them in for that kind of more of a parachute, I suppose, to slow himself down. So really taking full advantage of that kind of air break. Yeah, I guess he realised he didn't have to travel a great distance horizontally, just slow himself down vertically. So aside from it looking very fun, why, why exactly do they need to glide like that? Well, it's simple reasons really. It's mainly to avoid ground predators. Mm -hmm. So by hopping tree to tree, you cut out that phase completely. Yeah. Uh, and also because they tend to eat sugary nectar and fruits, then uh, they can, again, just travel between food sources quite efficiently. Great. Yeah. Interesting. So I reckon what I'd like to do is get a really nice close up of, of it landing. Yep. Sounds That's good. Fun. Let's get to it. Whee! I love how quickly that head comes up, just keep just pushing to be away. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's gorgeous. I would love to get just that epic shot of leap, legs open, see that membrane spread. You want to see it from underneath? If possible, it's going to be really tricky. But Challenging, but yeah. I like a good challenge. Cool. Nice. I mean, he's so you can just about see a skeleton there, in, in amongst his floppy membrane. You can really see his little belly and his legs stretched out, can't you? Little yeah. Cross. He's actually a very skinny little guy. Just all skin. Great. Well, nice one, Simon. Yeah, really happy with that. Well, I've had an excellent day. I don't know about you, but I'm super happy that we've managed to get these guys. It's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah, and they are seriously cute as well. Very cute. And to check out the science of cute, look at our collaboration with ASAP Science, and we'll see you next time in Slow Mo Studio. Bye. See ya. You may have seen our recent collaboration with ASAP Science about the science of cute, but here at Earth Unplugged, we thought we'd spare a thought for the ugly. <laughs>